so today we are going to be making gluten-free salt dough. Um, you don't have to use this recipe. You can use the regular recipe of flour, salt, and water. This one uses cornstarch in place of the flour. And we're going to mix it up. It's one cup of cornstarch and one cup of salt and one cup of flour. And we're going to get it mixed up good here. And then we're going to turn on the eye on low heat and cook it until it becomes a ball of dough. Um, sort of like if you ever made the, um, the older varieties of the Make It Home Play-Doh, it's going to be a little bit like that. So now that we've got it all mixed up, we've got the eye turned on, and you want to make sure that you keep stirring the bottom of the pot because you don't want it to stick. Um, I actually prefer this recipe to the regular recipe with the flour and the salt because the dough, um, the dough comes out wider which I think is really pretty um, if you decide not to paint the ornaments or the figurines that you make. We've also added glitter to the dough in the past um, after we get it off the stove. Um, when, when you're kneading it, um, you can add as much or as little glitter as you like. Um, and you can feel, um, you'll have to get a really good grip on your pot if you're using this recipe. As it starts to come together, it begins, um, begins to get a little bit more difficult to stir. So you really want to make sure you pay attention and don't leave it sitting or you will have a mess on the bottom of your pot. And now you can see what we have um, after it's done cooking. I'm going to move this to a plate to cool until it's cooled off enough for me to knead it. Here you can see we've got our dough. Um, it's all rolled out. I do like to sprinkle it with just um, a little bit of the cornstarch before I put the cookie cutters into it um, just to keep them from sticking. So um, you can see for our ornaments we have a star. Oh that's a snowflake and we have a star and we have some little um, sign language I love you hands and you want to push these in. Oh sorry I didn't mean to shake you up there. Push these in, give them a little wiggle. Make sure they're in there good, and then you're gonna pull them up, and you're gonna push them down for wherever you want your next ornament to be. Oh, no. And just like cookie dough, you'll want to um, roll up your scraps into a ball and then re-roll them out. The cornstarch dough does tend to get a little bit drier than, um, than the regular salt dough ornament dough. So you may have to wet your hands a couple of times to get it all the way rolled back out. If you are making your salt dough as ornaments, you need to make sure that you have a drinking straw on hand and however you want, I think I'll put it up here. However you want to put the string in, you're gonna to wanna to use your drinking straw to make your little holes. Um, and all of this can be dried in a low temperature oven, somewhere around 200 degrees. The flat ornament pieces you'll want to flip um, about every 30 minutes to keep them from puffing up and making a not so pretty ornament. Um, for ours, we actually have a designated craft cookie sheet. I'm gonna have to flatten the bottom of my mushroom out there. But um, this cookie sheet's only used for crafting. Um, it's old and it's yucky and you can tell it's been through the ringer a few times. So when I'm doing something like this, I just throw a layer of aluminum foil over it and then it's good to go. Just to show you, if you do decide to make the little figurines like the snowman here, um, I've used toothpicks on the sides, so I'm not going to put this one in the oven to dry it out. But if you just get the little um, things that you roll onto it um, a little bit wet, it will help them stick and kind of melt into the other parts of the dough. And then to hold all the pieces together, there's just one toothpick down the middle. So this guy's not gonna get dried out in the oven. He's gonna take several days to dry, but that's okay. 